It's still some years away, but the Malloy Aeronautics hoverbike could one day be used for manned flights by the US Army. These recent untethered tests proved the hoverbike's stability. Earlier tethered tests showed how it will look in real flight. Malloy's Grant Stapleton says the hoverbike is an ideal alternative to helicopters. With adducted rotors, uh, you immediately not only protect people and property if you were to bump into them, uh, but uh, when, if you were to ever bump into somebody or, or property, it's going to bring the aircraft out of the air. It's inexpensive, uh, it, can, it can carry a decent load, it can get in and out of very small places very quickly, and it can be moved across continents very quickly because it can be folded and packed into a C-130 or onto a ship. At the Paris Air Show, Malloy announced a deal to develop the hoverbike in Maryland with Defence R&D specialists' service. Their client is the US Defence Department. Services, Mark Buckowitz. The Department of Defence uh, is, is interested in hoverbike technology uh, because it can uh, support multiple roles. It can tr uh, transport troops uh, over difficult terrain. Uh, and when it's not uh, used in that purpose, it can also be used to transport logistics, supplies, uh, and it can operate in both a manned and unmanned asset. Uh, it also can operate uh, as a surveillance platform. Maryland Lieutenant Governor Boyd Rutherford welcomed the deal, which will bring jobs to the state. Well, it's, it's a fascinating concept. Uh, I've seen the dem demonstration, the video demonstration. I think there can be a lot of applications. Uh, and I, maybe I'll be like the fifth or sixth person to ride it. I'm going to wait till a couple of people ride it before me. Malloy's HQ will remain in the UK, and despite the tie-up, the firm will stay independent, hoping to tap into commercial and leisure markets.